after the information was shared for a search warrant for the residents in question. Detectives met with Chief Prosecutor Susan, Susan Zeiderveen, at which time a search warrant was issued. Our detectives from our office then put together an operational plan, a tactical plan, a contingency plan, and then executed the warrant. Surveillance was done. The suspected vehicle used to transport the victim from Washington to here was observed on the property. Detectives observed several individuals on the property inside residences as there were three homes on the property. Detectives did confirm the suspect was in one of the residences. Detectives had the local police agency, which were in uniforms and marked cars, roll in with them and execute the search warrant. Once the search warrant was executed, all individuals were then separated so that the detectives could start the interview process. The suspect immediately said she was there to the detectives that was talking to him. However, once they read Miranda, he lawyered up right away and wouldn't speak anymore. Additional family members did cooperate with our detectives on the victim's location on the property. They also confirmed to our detectives that she had been there for approximately three weeks. Once detectives found out her location, they went and entered the structure and located the victim immediately. The investigation continued and the victim was taken into protective custody and turned it over to CPS. The law enforcement agencies working this case in Washington was contacted with the outcome and to say there was static is an understatement. They then in turn contacted the parents who immediately flew to Michigan to be reunited with their child. I personally cannot thank everyone who was involved in this case and could not be more proud of the staff here at the Van Buren County Sheriff's Office. I would also like to give a shout out to our prosecutor's office. They uh, jumped on immediately and no doubt will handle things professionally on their end. I personally would like to see this case used as a champion to hold all app and tech companies accountable for hundreds of thousands of kids consistently being groomed on the internet. My hope is that this case will open and make real changes happen. These safeguards on millions of products in this world, there are safeguards on millions of products in this world, but yet websites are still readily available to our children at the touch of their fingertips. I ask you why? Why is there a website like this when used in this case where it's okay for a kid's to get on this website and talk to a total stranger. I would love to have the company defend why that's a good idea. The victim got on a particular chat platform and the suspect made his initial contact with her there and that's when the grooming started. I've seen it over and over that nothing good comes out of a child opening up an app and talking to a total stranger on a computer. How many times have we all heard that he thought she was my age, she thought he was my age, I thought they cared for me, and then here's what come, transpires out of it. Censorship is used consistently on political platforms. Certain individuals are blocked from using them, but yet a convicted sex offender has zero restrictions on the internet. By God's grace, this victim was able to be united with her family alive and able to recover from what she went through over these past three weeks. Not every victim can say that nor walk away from something like this alive. The suspect is being arraigned today on nine felonies in our, in our counties. You want to read? Sure. As Sheriff Abbott has said, he's being arraigned at one o'clock today in the Seventh District Court West. There are two counts of human trafficking of a minor. Those are both 20-year felonies. Two counts of using a computer to commit a crime, 20-year felonies. One count of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, possible life sentence three counts of criminal sexual conduct in the third degree, 15-year felonies, and one count of accosting a child for immoral purposes. We fully intend on pursuing this prosecution, as Sheriff Abbott said, in a professional way. Uh, we have met with the family, and we will be d doing everything that we can to hold this uh, suspect accountable for these crimes. And so it will start at today at 1 o'clock. And to go a little further on the prosecution, the prosecutor's office is also working with the prosecutors over in Washington, the state of Washington. So not only will he face criminal charges in Michigan and Van Buren County, he'll also face them out there in Washington. And the prosecutor's office is working in correspondence with them. Um, 
At this time, I want to bring the victim's mother up. She would like to give some statements to the media. Hi, I want to thank everyone for being here and allowing me to have this opportunity. I'm here primarily for two reasons. Most importantly, I get to bring my daughter home. I want to extend my most heartfelt and sincere thanks to all those far and wide that have helped make this possible. This rescue would not have been possible without all of those efforts. And I want to thank Van Buren County as well for um, their amazing um, efforts for stepping in and rescuing her. Fortunately for us, she is coming home safe. The past three weeks have been nothing short of nightmare and one I hope no other parents have to experience. This is a call to action. This predator was able to use social media platforms to reach my child from across the country. He was able to use these platforms to groom my child over an extended period of time. How many more children have to be victimized before these social media platforms are held to a higher standard? How many more families have to suffer the way mine has? The lack of accountability not only puts my child at risk for online predation, but leaves all children at the mercy of those who seek them out online. This is a time for change, and I hope that there are more people who are lucky to come home safe, but unfortunately not everyone has that story. Thank you. As you guys all know, this is an active investigation. We can't disclose much more details of what we just did today um, for obvious reasons. You guys have all been in the media for years and you know why. Um, we can try and field a few questions. 